Hello everyone, it's me once again. So, um, I want to first apologize for my low tone of voice. It's actually half past one in the morning in UK, and I want to make sure I record this before I go to sleep because it's it's one of those unusual Eureka moments that I discovered that I want to make sure I check with some of you out there who knows about stock market and etc. So please hear me out. But before we get into that, I also want to put a huge disclaimer that I don't come from a uh, financial background at all. It's one of those just personal opinion. And the reason I'm recording is that I want to be in a position to say, ha, I told you so. Or maybe I want to make sure if someone is about to lose money that they avoid losing money um, and wait for the right moment. Okay, so uh, if we actually zoom into actually this is about the whole gro recent growth of Deutsche coin at the moment. And I want to direct you to this area here. If you zoom into that, that seems to be the same pattern as this growth here. For example, you see that peak there, that's actually that jump there and then it goes down and there's another jump and then there's a bit of a turbulence here. So that pattern matches that. Uh, and then there's a bit of a uh, going down and then a jump to three jump with a big M and turbulence of going down. So if you see that, that's actually happening here. One, two, three, and then it's trying to go up but it goes down so that's the lowest point which is in here and then it goes up again up again and it goes down and it goes down and it goes up with another almost like image and this is the huge crash that we experienced uh, almost 24 hours ago when Elon Musk appeared on SNL I don't think Elon Musk actually caused any of this it's by looking at this pattern that's all I want to say um, I don't think it's his fault, but a, a lot of um, media is trying to blame him for it. But anyway, so if we look at this M and then um, that's basically we are at this point here, according to it. And it's trying to go up, but it will go down according to the history of the, uh, the progress of the Dogecoin. And then it goes up and down, but I'm actually worried about this point here. Okay, that's what I want to warn you about. Okay. So if you have hope at this point, I don't want you guys to put too much hope yet. But this disturbing pattern seems to happen the last um, couple of, well, actually almost a week or so. So if we zoom into this part here, I want you guys to see this is also repeating again in here and it's actually shortened. So it's getting more shortened and then the ups and downs are seem to be getting bigger and bigger. So that is pretty much here. And that progress is happening here and there's that that jump is resembling that and that and then the great turbulence is actually going downwards here okay so that's actually that lowest point resembles that but what you can see is oh apologies sorry that is basically here apologies this is very important so we that's the micro um, crash that we experienced recently has happened and then that's actually happening again which was yesterday so that we're pretty much if we reflect that point here this point here the latest point here we are almost around here so what's going to happen is there's going to be another dip and that's i think this is potentially going to go up around this point who knows but i'm actually worried about this so i don't want you guys to put too much hope when you're at this stage or even so now I want you guys to make sure that you wait until this point that might be actually 0.35 or 0.4 who knows I really don't know how low it's gonna go but it certainly seemed to be repeating itself and it's quite disturbing but overall I think it's gonna grow but I think a lot of youtubers are saying that uh, they're giving you an impression that it's just gonna go up and up and up from now on but if you're trying to save every single penny I think you should definitely wait up to this point next of this lowest point which is gonna be lower than this lowest point that we just recently experienced which was even a crash so it's gonna be lower than the crash so who knows how far it's gonna go down but please wait up to that point and then if you do invest on that point it's there's gonna be a big reward and then you've got to re avoid another crash so I think somehow I just feel like this is going to repeat on and on and on but but for those who understand this pattern you're going to hugely benefit 
that's all I could say. Or maybe somehow, if because we all know we heard about this, Dogecoin is actually owned by a small amount of people. A huge number is actually owned by a small amount of people. Maybe they're trying to share this information or so on. It's very disturbing, but somehow I don't think this is a positive move yet. Please wait for this next uh, lowest point, and then who knows what this point is going to be this might be a dollar it might be two dollars I don't know but um, I just think it's worth talking about this subject because I think there's a lot of people having hopes of this sudden jump I don't think we're there yet but please um, be wise with your spending money don't be foolish spending all your savings I think there's a bit of a controlling happening uh, in the background which is very disturbing Anyway, I hope this video made a fair point. Please do criticize me, but please do also check out yourself. Zoom in and zoom out with this Japanese candlestick. It is, I can see it. I really can see it. And I can't see how someone can argue against this uh, argument. <laughs> but anyhow, I uh, hope this video helped. Um, love to hear your guys' response to it. And please do uh, comment and share some information to help me out so that we could both benefit from your advice and my sort of tip as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.